Okay, let's do one more video, and in this example, uh, we're just going to look at data, sort of setting up some data, and sort of manipulating it in different ways. Okay, so here's the data section in our program, uh, and I'm just going to store some number here, uh, that value, right, we started with 52, and that's sort of where we left off in the last video. Uh, I need to add a little bit of padding here, you'll see the experiment I'm going to do soon. Um, because of how long a byte is and uh, how sort of division operates on these. Uh, here's uh, 10, uh, which I'm going to use as sort of a placeholder. And let me actually line these up so it looks um, somewhat uh, nice. Uh, okay, so then here's our text section, uh, the global section, and uh, where we want to start. Uh, and now our start symbol. Okay, so let's do our regular uh, push RVP on the stack. Uh, and let's just do some like division examples here. Uh, sort of manipulate this number. Uh, so I'm going to move in the number n here into register rax. Uh, then I'm going to zero out uh, just to make sure our uh, rdx register is zero. Uh, and next, I'm going to do a division uh, of 10. Okay, and this is an integer division, that's why the i is in front. Uh, so that means I'm going to get the uh, remainder and a quotient. Okay, so uh, results are stored in uh, rx and rdx. Okay, the remainder being in rdx. Okay, so make a note of that here. Remainder in rdx. Okay, so then let's uh, zero things out uh, yet one more time into uh, our dx. I can do another division uh, by 10 and you know just sort of compare this reveal with zero because we'll be done uh, right once we don't have anything else in our x to divide with. Okay, and then uh, nothing fancy from here. I just want to exit our program so we know how to do that once again. Uh, use uh, 60 as our system call and then move Q 0 for our exit code and do our syscall and pop the stack or pop back to our uh, base okay so let's run this I'm going to um, sort of compile this again with debugging symbols oops and uh, let's fix any errors so this is line 16 I'm going to check out what's going on here. Move Q, uh, 0, missing an A comma. Okay, so it looks good. Uh, and now let's run uh, our data program. Let's do it in GDB. Uh, so I'm going to set a breakpoint at 1 to sort of slow us down. Control X2, uh, so I can get a view of things. Uh, and I want to see my registers here. Okay, so they're not available yet until I run. So I'll press R to run. Uh, and everything zeroed out. Uh, we're pushing things on the stack. Next line, uh, there's our uh, stack pointer set up. Okay, and then we're going to move in. We see that address 6000 EC into REX. That's where our N is. Uh, and there it is, 52. Okay, uh, so now I'm getting ready for the big division. Okay, so it's an integer division. And as I've mentioned, REX. Uh, divided by 10 should leave 5 in RAX and uh, 2 in RDX. Okay, so if I do that, uh, here's the division step, and there we go. Voila. Okay, so it looks good. Now let me zero out RDX. Uh, I'm left with 5. I can do another division, and I'm left with the remainder. Well, I want to divide 5 by 10, remainder of uh, 5 in RDX. Okay. So the division instruction, instruction actually operates on 128 bytes, um, if you sort of read carefully, because it can store in the um, sort of uh, quotient and divisor, um, you know, two 64-bit numbers, okay? Um, so that's why I added that little padding um, and line four, because, you know, we need an extra long there to make sure we don't uh, run into some other address. Okay, um, so with that we can see sort of how we divide things. That might be a way to sort of 
break things up, you know, at least now I just have one number at a time, maybe I can print that out um, if I wanted to do some output. Um, but the rest I'll let for uh, folks to figure out. Okay, and then we'll exit, and then just sort of terminate this series. Okay, best of luck.